Ryan and Jill were a couple that were deeply in love, but when tragedy befell the pair, Ryan was faced with a heart-wrenching and difficult decision. But what happened next was nothing short of a miracle. Jill and Ryan Finley were just the typical couple living in Oklahoma City. The pair had only been married for four years and no one could deny how deeply in love they were. They loved spending time together and had a lot of the same interests. Being in each other's company was a pleasure and never a chore. They one day wanted to settle down and start a family in a big beautiful house. A dream not unlike that of most couples around the world. Both Ryan and Jill worked hard and it didn't leave a lot of time during the weekend to spend time together, but they knew that it wouldn't be forever. Being able to earn as much money as they could now would put them in a much better position later on in life. That's why they fully enjoyed their weekends together. It was Saturday morning and Ryan awoke before dawn. Instead of getting out of bed, he instead just laid there and watched Jill as she peacefully laid there. He then looked out of the window and watched the sun start to rise. He eventually got out of bed and went to make himself and Jill a coffee. She had an appointment, so she had asked Ryan to wake her up at a certain time. But as Ryan was preparing the warm and delicious smelling beverage, he felt unsettled for some reason. He had a feeling or a strange intuition. He couldn't put his finger on what the issue was, but something just felt off. He walked back to the bedroom with Jill's coffee and quietly called her name to rouse her. There was no response, so he called her name a little louder. Still, Jill remained unresponsive. Frowning, Ryan shook her shoulder, but she remained motionless on the bed. His eyes went wide with shock and his heart raced as he panicked. Ryan felt for a pulse and checked she was breathing before quickly starting to perform chest compressions and CPR on his wife. His mind was swimming and his eyes were filled with tears. What was up with Jill? She had been absolutely fine the night before. Despite Ryan's best efforts, Jill was still showing no signs of life, so he grabbed his phone and dialed 911. They instructed him to continue with the compressions and the CPR until an ambulance arrived. It seemed like an eternity until Ryan heard the siren of the ambulance roaring down the street. In actuality, it was only about six minutes from the first pressing call. The paramedics rushed into the bedroom and took over trying to resuscitate Jill. They eventually restarted her heart using their shock paddles. Once they had found her pulse, they got her to the ambulance and rushed her to the hospital. Ryan's head still swam with questions. Would his wife survive? What had given him that uneasy feeling when he woke up? He kept asking the paramedics questions, but they were too busy working on Jill to properly answer. So Ryan just prayed to God that he would spare Jill's life and allow her to get better and return home in safety. They arrived at the hospital and Jill was rushed to the intensive care unit or ICU. There, the medical professionals were able to take a look at her and try to determine the problem diagnose her and hopefully manage to fix her and nurse her back to health. As they did their important work, Ryan contacted his family to let them know what was going on. They asked them if they wanted to come to the hospital to be with him, but Ryan told them that there was nothing they could do at the hospital to make anything better. It was just a matter of waiting and seeing what happened next. Doctors completed their assessment of Jill and decided that the best course of action was to put her on a respirator to help her continue breathing. They were currently unsure of the underlying cause or what the long-term consequences were going to be and they told Ryan that she would be unconscious for the foreseeable future. There was some good news though. Jill was stable for the moment and she was breathing and had a heartbeat. After several hours and plenty more tests, Doctors finally got to the bottom of what had happened. Jill had suffered a heart attack in her sleep and been deprived of oxygen for over five minutes. Going without oxygen for so long could really damage your brain and Ryan knew that she was likely never going to recover. He was, of course, devastated. But even through his sadness, Ryan made a vow to his comatose wife that he would never leave her side until she was either well enough to come home or the worst happened and she passed away. When they had gotten married, Ryan had promised to stay by her side both in sickness and in health, 
and that was not a promise he was willing to break now. And that's exactly what he did. Every night, he would sleep in a spare bed next to Jill and read to her. Sometimes it was from the Bible, sometimes it was just magazines. Sometimes he would just talk to her, hoping that she would open her eyes and answer, which she never did. But Ryan never completely gave up hope. He couldn't. He loved her that much. But despite Ryan's best efforts, Jill's health continued to get worse. Ryan demanded to see the doctors, but when they finally arrived, the grim and sullen look on their faces told him everything. He knew that they were there to bring him bad news, and he was right. The doctors delicately talked to Ryan about Jill's condition and told him that she had less than a 1% chance of survival. They also informed him that if she did defy all the odds and survive, she would never function normally again because of how long her brain went without oxygen. But Ryan still wasn't ready to accept Jill's fate. He went back to praying and reading the Bible to her in hopes that some kind of miracle would happen. The doctors looked on frustrated, but they silently left the room and allowed Ryan to try to come to terms with the bleak prognosis. After they had left, Ryan came up with a great idea. He was going to start a journal and write down all his thoughts, goals and feelings in hopes that one day, Jill would wake up and be able to read it for herself. He found great comfort and solace in this, as it allowed him to get everything out in a healthy and constructive way. She's my soulmate, my wife, and everything in this entire world. Ryan wrote in one of his journal entries, Without her, I'd be utterly lost. I'm not going to give up. Never will I give up on her. But every morning as Ryan would wake up, he would look across and discover that it wasn't all a bad dream. It was real life. Days went by and there was no sign of any improvements and doctors once again returned to inform Ryan that it was time to make some difficult choices. The chances of her surviving and leading a normal life were pretty much zero and turning off the respirator and other vital life support equipment would be the best and kindest thing to do. Eventually, and after consulting his and Jill's family, Ryan came to the decision that life support should be withdrawn. It was the hardest choice he had ever had to make. Doctors prepared him for what would happen next. The whole process might take 10 to 15 minutes to happen after the care was withdrawn. They told him not to be shocked if Jill started to move and became restless after being unhooked. They assured him that it had nothing to do with fear or pain and that was very normal. The machines were switched off and the doctors left Ryan and Jill alone to spend their final moments together. When she started to move, Ryan thought it was all part of the process, but he was shocked to hear her try to murmur some words. So shaken was he that he ran from the room crying. A nurse went in to check on Jill, but after several moments went to the corridor to fetch Ryan. He entered the room and his mouth dropped open. Jill was sat upright on the bed, wide awake. She took one look at Ryan and pleaded for him to get her out of there. She was not only awake, but she was well. Ryan and the nurses asked her questions to determine how damaged her brain was, and much to their surprise, there was very little wrong with it. She couldn't remember anything about being unconscious, only saying that she remembered Ryan reading to her. It was what kept her going like a guiding light leading her to safety. It was a miracle. Ryan's dying wife had defied the doctor's expectations and survived with no side effects. Ryan's prayers had been answered, his dreams had come true, and he finally had the love of his life back. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? We know this is a hard thing to consider, but what would you do if you found your loved one unresponsive? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.